Hey, <laughs> I just realized my notes suck. I, I jot down little bits and think that later I'll remember what that meant. <laughs> Apparently I don't. But I do know the theme that I want to share with you, and it, and it continues with awareness. Uh, I heard something earlier on a video that I'm going to share with you that was <laughs> kind of uh, kind of profound in its rawness. Uh, you know, I talk about affirmations, <clears throat> and there's that famous one from the SNL skit, you know, gosh darn it, I'm pretty and nice and everybody likes me. You know, I am enough. Uh, it, you know, that's where awareness comes in. I mean, it, it, if somebody's a bitch, do they know they're a bitch? If somebody's an asshole, do they know they're an asshole? Uh, but this video that I was watching, this guru, Sandarandaraga Guru, he was giving an example how people aren't aware of themselves. And he said, for example, he said, when you don't brush your teeth, <laughs> I can't do it right now. He said, if you don't brush your teeth for three days, which I, I think some of us do smell our own bad breath, but you know, he's saying, even though your nose is right here, you're not going to smell it. You won't know that you're bad, that you have bad breath, that you didn't brush your teeth, but everybody else in the room will, which I think some of us smell. But, you know, you get the point, right? I mean, some of us don't smell like, you know, your body odor. If you've ever known somebody with body odor, they don't smell it because they're used to it, but everybody else does. So how do you become aware? And that's that's part of... That's part of the trick. That's part of trying to figure things out if you care. And again, you know, I'm not going to justify what I'm saying because if, if we hear, we even read what we want to. I've done it. I've read something and, and I look again and I'm like, I transposed the word because I had a thought in my head. And I was expecting or wanting to read something else. Uh, you know, it, it's just you see it every day, uh, especially in the political environment. You know, if you have an agenda, you're going to hear what you want that benefits you. So it's it's really hard, and it takes work to take your ego out of things. Uh, you know, one of one of the things that I that I trust but verify is, you know, the whole chakra thing, the heart, the, you know, trust your gut, go with your heart. Because my philosophy behind that is if, if you've had bad relationships all your life, like say maybe your parents had bad relationships and then you had bad relationships, your instinct might be that relationships are bad, right? So the next relationship you go in, you might be super cautious. And, and, you know, is that going with your heart? Well, that's all depends on what was put in, the input. But I think there's some truth that, you know, when something emotional happens, you can feel it up here, right? Or when you're trying to make a decision, you know, you can feel it in your gut. And, and I believe there is, there is a correlation with the stress in your life, the things that go on in your life. Uh, you know, when, when you get headaches, when, when you have, uh, you know, problems in your chest. I mean, there, there's all kinds of research on it. And it's just like I always say, there is a truth to everything. There is always two sides to everything. I just think that, that, that you know, you can go too far with that. But to use it as a baseline. Uh, so... Again, that comes being aware. And how do you do that? Breathe in, breathe out, take time to get away from everything, turn the phone off, get in your head and ask yourself. I, I always say, what I do for me, I take full responsibility for everything. Everything that happens in my life, good, bad, or indifferent. And even in relationships, if something goes wrong, I'm like, where, I look at me first, because that's the only place I can fix anything is if I did something wrong. And that's where I start. And if usually if there's a problem, 
not to place blame, but if there's two people involved, there's two parts. There always will be. Even though you think you're right, that other person will be able to justify their feelings and their actions as well. So that's where you come to an impasse. That's where, ah, low battery. That's where if, you know, depending on the relationship, whether it's sibling, parent, uh, lover, you know, how far you go to work it out. But you, the only thing you can do is fix you. So you have to see where your responsibility lies in it and fix that. If you did something wrong, say sorry. Not meaning that, you know, that you, you weren't a complete fault. And if the other person doesn't want to take their responsibility in it as well, then that's when you start to decide, mm, do I need to move on or what? Because where is this, where is this going to go? So that's where, you know, everybody, all your relationships have, you know, a, a certain spot. That, that, that they belong, you know, people you can work with, people you can hang out with, and so on and so forth. But so just just be aware. Be aware of yourself. Don't play the victim. Oh, woe is me. And don't always take the blame for everything. There's a, there's a middle ground. And that's the part of getting along. And you'll find out who. You, it, I'm telling you, you'll start. It's like the Matrix. You know, the Matrix where the one guy's looking and he's just see all the numbers, the ones and the zeros. But he can look at it and see the actual uh, what's going on. You'll get to that point once you start being more aware and start observing more. You know, we have two ears and one mouth for a reason. So sometimes you be quiet. You listen. And once you get to know yourself, because we're all pretty similar. So once you get to know yourself a little better, you'll be able to see that in other people. And then you'll be able to see things differently. You'll be able to see, wow, that's why they're saying that. That's why they're doing that. You know, the people that say, this always happens to me. They keep saying it, right? It's because it keeps telling that story. So, wow, that goes into a whole other thing. But take time to be aware of you. You're responsible for you. And that's where I'm going to leave it. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow.